Hey folks, tonight I'm going to do a video of a, a gun I have in my collection that's not a real, uh, compared to Glocks, SIGs, Smith & Wessons, XD, uh, Springfields, 1911, it's not real common uh, in America. Now, it's, it's common overseas, uh, or this manufacturer is. It's becoming more common in America, but different variants of this gun are, are more common. Tonight I'm going to do a video on the CZ-75. SPO1. Um, let's scroll down here and take a look at it and see what you think. Alright, so this is my CZ75 SPO1. Uh, it's a little different from most of them. This one's green. I Cerakoted it green. I like green, so Cerakoted it green. Uh, also, this one is the double action, single action version only. So it's the tactical model that has a decocker on it. It doesn't have a thumb safety. It's a decock only. So every shot will be double action. Uh, first shot, when you're done shooting, you lower the hammer with a decock lever, and it goes back into double action. Um, CZs are they're kind of um, different from most semi-automatic handguns. CZs uh, have come up with a design where the slide actually rides inside the frame. I don't know if you can tell that on the camera or not. But the slide of a CZ-75 runs, it sits inside the frame. With traditional uh, semi-automatics, the slide sits on the outside of the frame. So the slide tracks on the outside. On this one, and all CZ-75 variants, the slide sits on the inside of the frame. It does a couple of things uh, that are, uh, there's a couple of benefits to that. One is, with the slide being nestled inside the frame, it has the potential to uh, give the gun more accuracy. Uh, another thing is with the slide sitting inside the frame, it makes the slide sit lower, which um, lets the slide get closer to your hand when you're firing it, and it gives it a lower bore axis. So there's less muzzle flip with uh, most CZ-75s. This gun, um, I've changed a lot on. Uh, some of them are apparent, like the color, the grips. These grips are made by lock grips. Uh, if you've watched my Les Bear video, you know that I like lock grips. Uh, the, the guy that owns the company, he sells them for a little bit cheaper than the VZs, but the texture on them I like much better than the VZs. I like a very aggressive texture. Uh, I put some skateboard tape on the front just because uh, the checkering on the front isn't aggressive enough for me. I've also changed the sights on this gun. This gun is wearing, um, their, oh, I bought them from Cajun Gunworks, but they're CZ Custom, or not CZ Custom, they're uh, Dawson Precision sights. The rear sights made by Dawson Precision and the front sights made by Dawson Precision. It's a fiber optic front with a blacked out rear. Um, as far as internally, I've changed just about everything except for the barrel. Uh, the barrel is a stock barrel. Um, I bought uh, the kit from Cajun Gunworks uh, that changed out the trigger, all the firing control the mechanisms inside, the sear, the hammer, the disconnect, the trigger, all the springs. I um, polished all of those parts up and this thing has a phenomenal trigger pull for a double action, single action gun. I'll give you some trigger pulls here real quick and we'll let you see for yourself what it's like. Let me get my trigger pull gauge out. Now with this trigger pull gauge, uh, sometimes if you don't pull it just right, it's not the most accurate thing in the world, but uh, I'm going to try to get some good pulls for you here. So let's do this first one. Well, let me get ready. There we go. I know that's not correct. It says four pounds, six ounces. That's a little too light. Let's do that again. That's more like it. Six pounds, two ounces. That's about what it is. Let's do it one more time. Six pounds, seven ounces. And one more. Six pounds, seven ounces. So it's got about a six and a half pound trigger pull. Um, and that's what I've always measured it in the past at. Now let's do a 
single action pull test on it and see what the single action weight is on it. That comes out to almost two pounds. Comes out to almost two pounds. That comes out to almost two pounds. And that one comes out to almost two pounds. So it's right at a two pound trigger. Um, the average on it is showing one pound, 13 ounces. So uh, it's basically a two pound trigger, but it's, it's amazing. Another thing that I did to this gun is you can buy a standard CZ-75 or you can buy a CZ Shadow. Shadow means that it doesn't have a firing pin block in it. It's the older design, but with the Shadow, it means you have a much shorter reset. You don't have to reset that firing pin block. So what I've done with this is I've converted, converted it over to a Shadow model. So let's pull the trigger on it and reset, and I'll show you the length of reset on this trigger. And watch it because it's real short. That's it. That's all the reset there is and you're right back at the wall. Then you break your shot, the slide cycles, you reset that trigger, and that's all there is. It's a super short reset. With the standard CZ75, your reset is out here, and then you have to pull back to this point every time just to deactivate your firing pin safety. Uh, with the shadow, you don't have to do that. So basically what I've done is I've turned this into a shadow. Uh, I've deleted the firing pin safety. I put a spacer in but where the sear is, and um, I basically got a uh, SP01 shadow here. I put this gun up against any CZ, uh, whether it's from the custom shop or not. This thing has one of the best triggers of any CZ that I've ever had. I've had several CZs, and I've done trigger jobs on all of them, but this one, without a doubt, has the best trigger of any of them I've had. So uh, that's why I've hung on to this one so long. I am going to roll in some range footage here and let you see uh, how it shoots, and then I'll come back and I'll tell you what I think. Hope y'all enjoy. I'm going to do the 5x5 five five drill with my CZ SP01. Three max. It's a little slow on that one because uh, got to get used to that that uh, double action trigger first pull. Let's take a look at the target and see how we did. See my first one, that was my very first target. Got a little wild with that, but they're still all in there. This is my second one. Really good groups on my second one. I was putting them out fast. And here's my third one. I had a couple of line cutters on that. But all in all, they're still all in. And uh, I'm going to run that one more time. Shake on the gun. 
So that's why I review all of the guns on video at three yards. So you want to know why I shoot so close? That's why. I'm trying to keep it consistent. I might go back and try to change it up where I shoot them at five or seven. But when I'm doing a review, I just want to do it at three yards so they can all stay the same. Pretty good run right there. I'm gonna run it one more time. good pretty decent draw clean it up a little bit let's go on to something else in a little flinch but I can do better than this but today is about as good as I'm gonna be able to do that right there 
It's about two inches. Uh, that's about as good as I'm going to be able to do today. I don't know what's going on, but uh, uh, probably just the fact that I hadn't shot it in a while. And I just got to get used to it again. But uh, still love the gun. It shoots great whenever I could really get on. But maybe I'm just having one of them off days. Who knows? All right, I'm gonna see how fast I can do uh, 19 rounds center mass, reload, and then 19 rounds to the head. Go up here and take a look. See what I did. It's not bad. Good look. There's my rounds center mass. There's my rounds in the head. So that, if you look close, all of them are either touching or inside the A zone. That's the only one that you might be able to say is out. Right up there, that's the same thing. So, you remember if you put that on a standard size USPSA target, it'd all be in the A zone. So, this gun shoots good and it's fast. Hey folks, back from the range, uh, had a good session with it, um, it took a little getting used to again, uh, I'm used to shooting Glocks and 1911s and I hadn't shot this thing in probably a year, year and a half, so uh, it took a little getting used to, but there, there towards the end I started warming up to it again and uh, it did pretty good. So let me zoom down here and... Uh, Alright. Build quality on this gun is excellent. These things are built like tanks. If you ever take one apart and look inside of it, you'd be surprised at how heavy these things are built. Um, a lot of people don't know much about the CZs, like I said, but uh, uh, handle one for a few days, take it apart, and look at the interior of it, and these things are really built like tanks. Uh, overall impressions of the gun. I love the gun. It shoots great. It uh, is a pretty flat shooter. Uh, it's, like I said, it took me a while to warm back up to it again. Uh, the double action trigger is no hindrance at all, especially when it comes in at six and a half pounds. When you draw it and go to fire that first shot, uh, it's just like rolling through a stick of butter. It's just nice and smooth. Um, no complaints there. Single action trigger is, is amazing. Uh, or anything outside of a 1911, I don't know if you get much better than this one. Um, the reset on it is super short and um, it's super quick to, to ride that reset and follow up with that next shot. Uh, some people will say that the decocker on them is a little bit of a hindrance and it affects the trigger. Maybe it does, doesn't on mine. Uh, I can only speak to mine. And I've had several of these SPO1s and several of the uh, CZ variants, and I've never had a problem with the decocker doing anything negative with the trigger. It's always been great. These sights are awesome. They are Dawson sights, just sold by Cajun Gunworks. They're awesome, super fast on the range, super fast to acquire, fast to, to, to get back on target with. I don't really care for the checkering on the rear and on the front so as you can see I put skateboard tape on the front to give me some extra traction um, I mean is that a con of the gun yeah I guess it is because the new uh, CZ Shadow 2's come with a much better checkering 
the grips on here, the lock grips. I don't know if you can tell how slim they are, but these things are real slim, and uh, it, it just fits my hand like a glove when I when I grab a hold of it. It just fits like a glove, and even with the hammer down, it's not hard for me to get a good purchase on that trigger. Overall, um, this gun, if, if you, you're thinking about getting one, you can't go wrong. They come standard with night sights. Uh, you can pick them up for, I've seen them as low as $500 a few years back. Now they're going for about $550 to $600 depending on where you get them. Like I said, this one was uh, black. I Cerakoted it green because I like green. But... Um, you know, you, you can't go wrong with these guns. For $550 to $600, you're buying a tank. This thing will last you forever. Um, accuracy, when I'm on my game, this thing shoots. Um, tonight, I wasn't really on my game. Shot about a two inch group with it. But uh, when I'm on my game, boy, this thing will, will make a ragged hole down there with as many rounds as you want to put in it. Um, don't really have a lot of negative to say about it. I have heard that the slide stops tend to break. Um, I've got between 10 and 12,000 rounds on this gun and this slide stop has never failed, ever. To tell you the truth, nothing on this gun has ever failed. I love it. So, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you did, share it around. Um, but uh, if you're on the fence buying one of these right here, you can't go wrong and with a little extra work on the trigger these things can be just phenomenal shooters they're they're serviceable from the factory but with a, a good trigger in it from Cajun Gunworks or from uh, CZ Custom man they are just they're phenomenal so uh, anyway um, hope you liked the video and I will see you next week